as some of you may have noted, I have spent a lot of time not producing content. Um, and I think it's very easy to just make up an excuse and say it's because I've been trying this challenge. Um, it genuinely isn't. Um, I have had a bit of a rough time over the last few weeks. Um, I have been extremely busy the last few weeks. Easter came up, um, and that's literally when I stopped putting out videos. Is I went, I was busy for Easter weekend. Um, I was busy for the week after, and then I come down real sick. Um, so I just haven't put out any content. Uh, I haven't made any content in that time. I legit haven't done anything for two weeks. Um, and also it got announced that there's a total car overhaul next update. In 5.0, every car is going to be changed. So in that regard, I have actually decided to elect not to do any more car reviews. Um, I think they were actually more of a problem, 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 uh, problem for the channel rather than were beneficial because forcing myself to do 40, 60 car reviews was just taking up a lot of time that I could have been using to make proper content. Oh, what? Get in with the first time in history that an accelerator's car has not gone into reverse when rolling backwards. Is the first time in history I wanted it to do so. Alright, flip me around. That's fine. That's not fine. Very much not fine. So yeah, I legit have not played this game in two weeks. Uh, I think maybe someone like said, hey, here's a thing that happens. And I was like, I don't believe you. I'm going to try it. Um, and that was... Dear God. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Hey, he does it, kind of. I'm falling again. This is great. Um, but yeah, I have said for a long time I wanted to do the ultimate race in the sweeper. Um, and I believe at some point I might actually finish tumbling in this pipeline and do so. Just get in reverse. What is the problem? Have I forgotten a setting? Is it set to manual? Like, what is this? This is average at best. It's not terrible. Um, Sweeper, honestly, it does go faster in reverse. Um, it's really weird. It's a little easier to drive in reverse because the front wheels aren't where it steers from. The back wheels are. Um, and for such a big vehicle like this, that makes it harder to drive, obviously. Um, so swip swapping it around just means that reversing, like turning in reverse is easy. Right is left, left is right. That's not something I have trouble with when the camera is facing that way. Um... Ah, big brain. Unfortunately, the sweeper is one of the few vehicles that still needs to use the outside of the pipeline, just due to the size and the weight of it. Which, it's weird, because it feels both heavy and light at the same time. Oh no, that was... just unfortunate, really. Alright, we're going to go the right way then, are we? What do you want, sweeper? You tell me what's going on. Unfortunately, the sweeper is a vehicle that it tells you what it wants to do, and it does it. You don't really get to make the decisions. I am not the boss of this vehicle. <laughs> um, it's weird that I started with no nitrox. I could have sworn the sweeper now started with a thousand nitrox. Uh, but whatever, I don't care. It's easy to add it. Um, and being ultimate race and being that I don't actually have a time that I need to make, it's fine. I don't really have to worry about. Whew. I forgot that I wasn't backwards, so I did opposite steering. Like an idiot. Oh, uh, I'm still doing it. Right is right, left is left. Too used to driving backwards in this silly thing. <coughs> Alright, desert? Desert. Um. 
I really am used to just driving backwards. I like it's a matter of also remembering that I need to steer with the back end, not the front. Um I could have sworn I was steering right then. Like I was a hundred percent steering. Uh, is my controller alignment off or something? It also steers very sharply, but whatever. Damn, my I'm really out of touch, I will admit that. That's unmistakable. Uh, I won't take that outside path. So if the sweeper starts making that noise, that means the wheels are no longer on the ground and it is accelerating with no wheels, uh, which obviously means that you have no traction and no ability to steal because you are airborne and there is no traction in the air. It's not that your brakes don't work per se. <laughs> they just, they work quite well actually. If anything, they work better airborne. It's just that what they do does not help you in that situation. Oh, got a little bit of air there. So yeah, the engine revs up a bit louder um, when you're airborne. That's a nice indicator that your wheels are off the ground and that you're in trouble. It's not so bad on the desert realm, but something like cosmic, it's bad. It's really bad. Not looking forward to cosmic. The worst thing about cosmic being the last realm is that if I'm in a vehicle that just can't do cosmic, I'm not going to know until I get there. Maybe I should just run this through every realm and just make that the challenge. But I, I really like the sweeper. Um... And honestly, I should talk less so I can edit some stuff out. Oh! So the Nitrox there was just to make me hit the ground. Um, you might think that me checking my phone was the problem in that instance. However, it was because I had no control of the vehicle that I checked my phone. <laughs> All right, let's get that speed up. So unfortunately it does lose that tiny bit of speed when shifting gears, um, which is why it goes faster in reverse because it doesn't have to shift gears. It still has the exact same power output in reverse, if not more. Oh God. Oh no. Uh, and a little bit of reverse nitrox should hopefully, um. have saved that was some weird physics if i do say so myself um i'm not entirely sure what that was all about but that was weird movement it just sort of like would stop and then would jump sideways <sighs> okay we're still on track um Honestly, five minutes per realm is a decent enough time, I feel. Um, what's that? 20-something realms. There's a lot of minutes. Uh, let me see. Now, it's a matter of just remembering that I'm supposed to be flipping the controls. It's not hard to do, but it's easy to forget. Oh, it... I thought it remembered that I was in reverse. It didn't. It just remembered that my camera was in reverse. All right, left and right with a giant boulder in the sky to be like, hey, go this way. He's found a hyperpod. Actually got to dodge the uh, hyperpod in this one. Oh, <sighs> got to realign myself with the fact that <laughs> I'm going the right way now. Ugh. It's also got very sensitive steering when going the correct way. When it's going backwards, that steering is very much not as sensitive. <coughs> oh! 
<sighs> it's not an ideal vehicle on stuff like that. Right. And yeah, steering with the back wheels means you've got to turn a little bit late because it is very sensitive steering. Because instead of um, the car turning normally, or instead of the vehicle turning like a car, what happens is the back wheels send the back end in the opposite direction to the way that you're going, to the way that you're steering. So that if you steer right, the back end turns left, thus turning the car right. Train? <laughs> Maybe not car? Um, and that's, that's why it's steering is so sensitive, is because instead of steering with the front end like a normal vehicle, um, yeah, it's just it steers the opposite way. It just turns the back end the wrong way. Um, and that's where all the challenge comes from with driving this vehicle. That and it's ridiculous uh, weight scaling. It's both heavy and... It's both the heaviest and lightest vehicle at the same time. Um, it catches air unbelievably easy. And it stays in the air once it does. Um, because it's got literally no downforce whatsoever. Uh, but it's heavy in the fact that it's very bulky to just do anything with. Um, maybe heavy is not the right word. I think it is just, it's bulky, but it is extremely light at the same time. And that's probably another reason the steering ends up being so sensitive. Um, and it's brakes are garbage. So, yeah, no, that's that's why it feels heavy, is because the brakes are terrible. Um, they don't counteract the sheer weight. You know, it's a matter of a heavy thing going very fast is harder to stop. This thing seems to have the brakes of a regularised drone car in something the size of a train. Or a fortress. Ah, what? What? I forgot this exists. I'm ready to be traumatized, everyone. Alright. <laughs> the hardest thing on any track with the sweeper is obviously the loops. Um... Uh, Mostly because A, the sweeper, the sweeper kind of struggles on loops, but B, um, it's a little harder to correct than most vehicles. This one didn't go as poorly as it could have. Um, I'm very proud of the sweeper. F oh no. I really, I couldn't do this the other day. Like, I straight up could not do this not that long ago um when someone requested sweeper in warp drill i couldn't finish but i've done it before i know i did because i got up to sound realm in a previous version <sighs> i'm not a fan this could go horribly wrong just uh was that maybe the time that the sweeper did the thing, or that the camera did the thing and was the right way up? Um, one can only hope. Uh. All right, this is a loop, so I need to maintain speed. All right, speed not maintained. We're still on what appears to be a track. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it is just the start of the loop again. We're going to try it backwards, and that is purely because, as I said, this thing has more power backwards. We've got the camera the right, right way up for a short amount of time. All right. We have failed again. It's fine. We're... We're okay. 
the thing is like it's just a matter of fear obviously I need to keep my speed up for this to work but I'm af so afraid of failing from going too fast that I refuse to do so uh, let's drive up a bit this way the, obviously the center line is important for the warp drum the closer to this center line you are the better things will go for you We need to stop. Get our camera lined up as best we can and just get reversing. Hold the phone. Was I going the wrong way? Because the teeth are the wrong way, aren't they? Ah, oh, alright, we're trying this again. Oh, and for some reason we were in reverse, despite the fact you could see I was driving forwards. Alright, we've done it once, somehow it worked. And we have... Somehow eventually wound up on what I believe to be the correct track. Ugh. I hate this realm in the sweeper. I hate this realm in general. Uh, and I don't hate it as in, oh, it shouldn't be in the game. It's just that I hate the amount of effort that I have to put into it. We did it. Hey. I think what I hate about the realm isn't, like, the realm itself is fine, it is just ultimate race that makes the realm bad. I hate the realm in ultimate race. Simple as that. That used to be a bigger drop. Now this was once, uh, oh, that was entirely on me. I tried to shift it into reverse to fix it, but it didn't quite shift down hard enough. Which, yeah, double, like, what you do is if you're heading towards an edge, you can double press A, which should shift you to neutral, then reverse if you're an automatic, um, and then just nitrox backwards, which is what should happen. However, sometimes, if you do it and your revs at the, are at the perfect state, uh, you'll shift into uh, neutral and then it'll automatically change gears and you'll just shift yourself back into neutral. That's just nitroxing yourself off the edge. Now this used to be impossible without nitrox. Uh, I'm no expert, but I'm going to just believe that it is a game. Impossible without Nitrox. Whew, that's not so bad. This is a lot easier than it was the other time I tried it. Uh, now that the ramps have been fixed up a little bit. That was a breeze. I don't know if anyone saw it last time, but that took me so many tries. Uh, and now that the lightning is just like, you can still steer? Who cares? I'm just going to drive through this. <laughs> the sweeper doesn't care. <coughs> But yeah, for it to actually get through that uh, Thunderdome in the previous update, uh, or one of the previous ones, before that track got rebuilt, or that section track got rebuilt, you had to be 
reversing and nitroxing, and even then it was still a matter of pure luck um, and just sheer determination to get through it. Oh look, I forgot I was on hydros, so I'm still on hydros. This is great. Vehicle, please, drive. It is what you are made to do. The issue is it's so easy to fall off and I'm just so afraid of doing so. I uh, hit water there without uh, water being there, which was nice. It's very easy to get ahead of myself, uh, start thinking about how I haven't made any severe enough mistakes to cause resets and just try to like really go fast on what seems like a really straight section. Um, but at the same time, that is an absolutely terrible idea and I need to make sure I don't do that. That's where I come out of the pipe. Like that's how far I've made as, as the crow flies. Barely anything. If the water, oh, that was actually a lot closer than it looked. Uh, if the water hyperpod worked correctly, this realm would be super fast. Not hyperpod, uh, the water, what's the word? Acceler charger. You can tell I haven't dealt with any Hot Wheels content or any Accelerators content since I left. get our nitrox back up uh, all right cliffside is probably one of the breezier levels in the game if I'm honest as you can see breezy Do I? Ah, here's Mr. Shortcut. Breezy. <laughs> Just 
so the camera's going the right way. Oh, spikes. Um, <laughs> now, I feel like I've done this in the sweeper before, but I also feel like this shouldn't be doable in the sweeper. But at the same time, with rear wheel steering, it might not be so bad. You just uh, come on in and... I think one major difference that this has over literally any other car in the game is this can steer in the ice. If anything, that's not the issue. What am I stuck on? Physics, apparently. So you just... You come on in, and then you steer late, obviously, because you're steering with the back end. And it just, it, it's a breeze. You can steer under brakes. All right, you can't steer under brakes. But it's a sweeper. You don't need to brake anyway. If you're using brakes, you're probably doing something wrong, purely because the brakes in this thing are garbage. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's heavy enough that it doesn't gain too much speed, and you can just steer quite easily on the ice. Because you're not going fast enough for it to matter. Can I get this done in under an hour and a half? I think that's that's the challenge. If I was to put a challenge to it, I'm not actually going to care. Um, I don't know. I genuinely don't know if it can be done in under an hour and a half. Uh, it really does come down to resets. Um, predicting some major issues on Canyon. You'll know why when we get there if you don't already. Uh, I'm predict predicting some issues for, oh, that ice wall right there. Ugh. I mean, that was steering in reverse, not really anything else. Uh, yeah, so Cosmic is going to have some issues, most likely. Uh, solar will also come with some problems, uh, particularly the spawn position, if it hasn't been fixed, will be an absolute nightmare. Um, and Sky, maybe. I'm not sure on Sky. I legitimately still haven't actually driven the new Sky, uh, other than one time in Ultimate Race. Now just waiting for update 5.0, honestly. Okay, we are having what I would call a conundrum. You cannot defeat me, human. I have the Accelerator Chargers. Conundrum resolved. <laughs> No, I have no idea. Don't don't even ask me what that was, okay? It was the magic. Alright, I just I just did some magic. <sighs> canyon cliff cliff charger or the canyon charger is just a bit dumb. Like simple as that. Ooh, subgrid. Uh, if there's a track that the sweeper sucks on, it is cyber grid. However, fortunately, this hulking monstrosity can just drive back onto the track if it falls off. We're going to try and avoid doing so. But doing right angle turns in a vehicle bigger than the track, like bigger than the corners, uh, in a vehicle that also steers with its rear wheels, not its front. So I've got to, what? you got to come up, you got to overshoot, and then you got to start steering late and hope that you don't slip off the edge um i don't recommend this for anyone to try this at home just got to steer in a bit late and hope that i don't come off which i kind of did there it wasn't so bad and late You also got to be very wide. That's that's not awful. Oh, 
I've never noticed that drone there. Has anyone else ever noticed that drone just floating there? It looked like a drone. Sound realm, the bane of my existence in the sweeper. Uh, this was an absolute abomination uh, in a previous update, the last time I tried Ultimate Race Sweeper. Uh, however, I have regrets with how I handled that. It was just the vehicle didn't cooperate. Did not. That's what I mean about the brakes. That was I was riding the brakes that entire time. No acceleration, and it just was not stopping. <sighs> but yeah, so... Yeah, there's no way this can't be replicated. It, it, the Sound Realm skips now uh, the soundtrack if it's in Ultimate Race. So the soundtrack skips in Ultimate Race now for Sound Realm. I don't know why, per se, but it just does. Gotta keep that speed up because those things will ruin your day if they hit you. They are solid, they're not visual. Which, I assume those things are also solid and not visual? I wonder if the sweep is low enough to get them in this version. Or low enough to dodge them. Ah, it's fine. Heats of space. Gotta keep that speed up. And then it goes into the vertical. Damn, that sound quality is awful. Is this a joke? What am I supposed to... That's infuriating. I feel like a lot of issues have come up for Ultimate Race Sound Realm. Um, and the dev team hasn't really acknowledged. Wasn't it the other way around before? I forgot that they move. If you reset, they move. Uh, I don't know if they do it in the normal version. I don't reset on the normal version enough. But if you reset an ultimate race, those things move. <laughs> I don't know why. Goodbye, frames. It's not even the frames that are causing the music to skip. It is just genuinely skipping. So this time, as I get to the bottom of the vertical, I'm actually going to have to reverse Nitrox so that I can actually lose some speed before I reach the bottom. Because obviously you need speed to get through the loop. Not a problem. And then we're just going to ride the brake. What do I do? do about this and why was that not there previously like is that new now another thing I'm worried about here is if these light things spawn on me will they just fucking obliterate my vehicle Answer, yes. Yes, they do. What? Visually, this realm is cool. It looks really nice. It's a practical track to drive on. It is absolute utter garbage. Just that those lights are solid objects. These ones, are, these are fine. You can avoid them, or if you reset enough times, they avoid you. I know that I've gone into, like, Cobalt's angry ranting mode again, but it's ridiculous that both times I've fallen off on this ultimate race have absolutely 100% not been my fault, and have also both been out of my control. Um, and that's something I don't like, is the concepts of the accelerons and the racing realms is that any mistake you make is your fault that's you know the belief of the accelerons is about driving going forward none of that at the end there is going forward 
it is a direct it directly goes against the accelerons and their belief system and it directly goes against the spirit of a racing game so that one's doable what do i do about this it is just it's not even a thing it is just an absolute monstrosity of flashing brightness and solid objects to what what do i do does this go away sometimes it just unloads after a while we're just going to sit back we're going to enjoy the music for a bit we're going to see if this unloads for us like it has in previous versions however if that's the one thing about this realm that has been fixed i'm not going to be happy the issue isn't so much like i can get past this first one that i'm not worried about it's the fact that there's no room between the first and the second. So I'm just going to get past the first one, bonk into the second, and then a pillar of light is going to spawn inside my vehicle and throw me. I don't think we're that desperate, are we? We're going to attempt this one more time. But backwards so I have a little bit more vehicle control One, one. Thing is, I can't even get all my wheels on the ground because the sweeper just uh, genuinely does not fit. Ugh, how are we supposed to drive through this? We are all wheels on the ground. I'm just going to not nitrox too hard. Kind of like I just did. Why does that kill the music when I nitrox? <sighs> Alright, we're going through it again. We're going to try something slightly different this time and see if it works. This is an absolute joke. Um, and... If this track isn't fixed in 5.0, I'm just not even bothering. Um, like, what? Well, that's terrible. It's a... Solid objects shouldn't obstruct the... Tr like, solid flickering light objects are not obstructions. I like that the sweeper has trouble going over these things sometimes. It makes it a little easier to avoid stuff. Um, but yeah, so, God, this is a glitchy vehicle, this update. Previous updates, it wasn't so bad, I swear. I think that's been fixed up because the, there was a previous update where they would fly out and ruin your car. Whoop, whoop. This thing is a little easier. Was... That was me, just in my head for some reason, I said I need to go left and I turn right. 
Um, and that seriously just comes down to the how confusing it is to drive this. That, again, I did the same thing. I said I need to turn left and I need to turn right. That makes perfect sense. Turn right to go left. Yes! It's because I drive this in reverse sometimes and left is right, right is left, or... It, I just, I did it again. I'm really struggling to flip my brain around. Um, left is left at this point. I, I need to stop thinking left is right. It's also because I've constantly got to be reminded of the fact that steering is from the back, not the front. And steering is based on turning the back end to the right. It's just a confusing vehicle if you think too hard about it. See, why have those lights turned back on? Like, that makes no sense. Oh, oh. Oh. So these, these are my fault. And they're frustrating for a different reason. They're not angry frustrating. They're, I can't believe I keep doing this. And it's just becoming a subconscious thing to turn left and right incorrectly. Um, it might be easier to just spin the sweeper around and go from there. I'm not going to be able to do this in under an hour and a half because I don't know if I can even do the sound realm. So I'm going to try one really, really extravagantly bold thing. For this final section um and there is no guarantee that it will or won't work um is there a reason that there's no lighting it's weird now turn left to turn left i, I don't know how i was struggling with that for so long, just a couple of moments ago. Like, oh, I was really having trouble with that concept. Speed through here. And then start slowing down, shift to reverse, and do a little bit of reverse nitroxing just to lose some speed. I don't know why we keep failing. I did it again. I'm literally just, I'm steering this as if I'm driving it backwards, so I may as well just be driving it backwards. Um. That was really weirdly hard. Uh, it's so weird that the nitrox also cuts out the music. Sound realm needs a lot of fixing. Um, <laughs> those things spawning over there is hilarious. That I don't even want fixed because they're they uh, has it the first time and they're a little annoying the first time, but they're not the end of the world. And uh, honestly, like if you can beat them once, they're not a problem. Oh my god, frames dropping to seventeen frames is good. See, like, that doesn't turn on yet. So it's weird that it was on before. And the question is more or less... Like, they're obviously triggered by you passing a certain point in the track, and that's something I understand is fine. But do they untrigger based on your distance, or do they untrigger based on time? I thought it would have been distance, but it does seem to be a time thing.
Now, one thing I noticed about this being a solid object. The thing is, if it ever cuts out for too long, because it does cut out, if it cuts out for too long, I fall off of it. This is quite hard to navigate because this giant stupid pillar is in the way. You know, I feel like it has more, yeah, it has way more room on the other side. Uh, so we need to be going this side of the pillar and we need to just understand that we need to get as close to the pillar as possible. But we also have to make room for the front end. so bad. We did it though. <sighs> oh, it's starting to really kind of... Familiar? I think we've been this way before. Now, here I've made it past the second one. It's not what I was overly intending, was to just fall onto this section. I was hoping to fall onto the portal. Oh! However, oh, if we could just get through before that comes back. We should be somewhat more okay than we are. <sighs> One to go. Hey, we are out of here. Like audio is just dead. Um, look, if I can overcome this absolute outright bullshit. I will be able to overcome anything else the ultimate race could throw at me. Also, Windrum exists. I do forget about that one sometimes. Um, but I honestly feel like this is going to be more difficult than anything Windrum can give me. This, this is the challenge. Dear God, that audio has been awful for, what, half an hour now that I've been in this fucking realm? Got to account for the severe frame drop there. And then we just go fast again. It's good that I can turn off the music if the audio annoys me. I can just go. Audio is gone for a few seconds. There's so many audio issues with this track, and that's probably making it a little harder to just 
focus, I, I guess. And the thing is, it can cut out enough to be a problem. Now we need to just bonk into this, and then we need to line ourselves up quite nicely. Because we need to be wide enough to have not have the front end clip that, but then the back end needs to not fall off the edge. And then we need to stay in that position long enough to not do exactly what we just did. <sighs> All right, we now have a new dilemma. Let's see if I can excel a charge out of this. Um, that's... Stop, 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 stop. Not drivable now. Maybe. We'll see. Yeet. Alright, if that's not drivable, that means there's a big enough gap in some of these lights that maybe I can make it through. Maybe. Ain't no way I'm making it through this first one like that. Oh, yeah! One down. And now I'm uh, stuck. Alright, cool. Second one is now way less often flickering. Uh, it's actually staying naught for longer. Uh, whoops. Get out of there before that comes back. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ah, thank you. <sighs> nope. Okay. <laughs> Get back, get back. Am I on the ring? I am on the ring.
So now, my previous resolution to the issues with the track was to drive over the track, but the track is falling apart as I reset more often. Theoretically, if I was to reset enough times or do whatever it is that's overloading, something is overloading the track, causing it to be less of what it is, causing it, all of its events to have problems. It is 100% resetting is the problem, but I'm also noticing the audio drops and things like that when I use my Nitrox or Acceler charger. Uh, so it's possible that they're also having effects on the track. I want to just see if these things are also shorter. Oh. What did I... Okay, I hit Nitrox then, but also like lagged out for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you can turn that off. Oh. That was accidental. Like, I meant to press it, but I forgot that it makes you float away in the sweeper. So the sweeper is light, despite what its brakes would have you believe. <sighs> Very much not a fan of the Ultimate Race at this point. <laughs> Uh, actually, no. Ultimate Race the Sweeper is fine. It's just this is a monstrosity. Even these are shorter. Is it plausible that I will land this? Plausible was a word. Uh, it was plausible. It just wasn't going to happen. Buy music. <sighs> well. <laughs> I am actually getting to a point where I am considering calling it quits. Considering. Doesn't mean I am. Um, I honestly expected to be nearing completion by now. Bouching well, well. Get back on the track. Get back on the track. Please. Track. Track, track. It's uh, not ideal. Come on, come on, come on. Nitrox, Nitrox. Whoa, we cut that as close as we could without falling. I'm doing this the harder way. You know what? Reset. 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 That's genuinely affecting it. He could be a genius and still be insane. I 
I believe that if that all this is. Oh, cat's great. Are you lost? <laughs> Excuse me? You are in four, in first. I'm holding the accelerator. Please stop rolling off the edge. I'm in Ford's gear. Look, this is seriously so draining. So, de uh, it's deteriorating what little mental health I have left. But don't let anyone say I'm a quitter. Unless, of course, I quit. But at this point, I'm not a quitter. And I've definitely done this a lot longer than anyone else there would have. However, I do believe this solution is actually to reset um, and tackle going over the top first try when it is at its strongest. Oh, I need to watch my speed, but also now increase my speed. Mm -hmm. This way, this way, go. Are my frames getting better or is that just my imagination? Let's see if I drop to negative 17 when all the track spawns in up here. <laughs> so annoying that that turns off the music. Alright, let's see how bad them frames get here. I mean, they were slightly higher, but correlation, causation, you know. Right now I'm actually struggling to do this loop. Um, and that's just 100% me, that's... There was a theory that someone, I'm pretty sure it was Cat, put out that if you constantly keep falling, um, that causes your driving abilities to just deteriorate because you're just not as confident anymore. You lose your, you have a bit of a streak sort of thing going. Um, and the more mistakes you make, the more likely you, you are to make further mistakes. But that's definitely happening less now. Whoops. I mean, kind of what I wanted to do, but it also isn't, if that makes sense. Oh, 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 oh. Get out, 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 get out. I have gotten out. Barely. Ah! What the fuck hit me then? Look, whatever it was, it failed to kill me. Doesn't mean it can try again. I'd much rather it didn't. Am I better off taking... I am better off taking this right side, I believe. No, it is definitely this side that I need. However, I need to go out wide. And turn it back in. Alright. Hmm. Uh, 
reverse, 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 reverse. Driving on something you cannot see is difficult. Okay. Um. All right, we're back to square one. Come on, slip off, slip off. All right, all right, all right. Up. Oh. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. We are seemingly in a pickle. Oh. <coughs> that nearly took an hour. Ah, yes. Headlights that are sometimes on. I meant to do that. Of course I didn't mean to do that. What the hell was that? I don't even know how I did that. I didn't know that was physically possible. It is so dark in the sweeper. The headlights turn on for a second for some reason. Oh, there you are. They turn on for a second there too. Why? Why have sometimes headlights, please? Please give me always headlights. Is there a button that I need to press to turn the headlights on? Or a button I need to press for the vehicle to go forwards. I was just sitting there holding the accelerator going, Yeah, when will it do its thing? I feel like a lot more of the problems that I'm having in this game would make sense if I had a little monitor on the screen that tells you exactly what button I'm pressing at any given time. Um... I'll be real, I didn't want to 
try and avoid that and fall off, and I couldn't actually see where the base of it was because I can't see. Look how much headlights I've got all the. Never mind. Why? <coughs> you know, I'm actually surprised that the headlights aren't, aren't physics. Like, they're not a solid object. Imagine that. Just drive along, suddenly, boom, you've hit something solid. It was your headlights. That's how sound realm seems to work. Hour and a half was a fucking joke of a dream. Nearly needed an hour and a half just to do the fucking sound realm. Honestly, take the sound realm out and see what my time is. Assume that my first sound realm run was a complete run. What is wrong with that cat? Why does he sound like someone breaking into the house? Maybe he is. So I can't actually take the exit ramp there because it's smaller than the sweeper. So I need to actually drive into the city. And I need to pick a part of the ramp to exit from. And just hope that there's ground because there's no light down here. Good thing my track memory is good enough. Jesus Christ, I can't see. Now I, can't hear. now I can see. This is fine. <coughs> I was like, ice again? Didn't I do this already? Was that a dream? <sighs> I mean, what spike time is since the ice realm? I don't actually think tires matter in the sweeper. Hi, this is Cobalt. And I'm angry. At how unfriendly towards the sweeper this game is. Things that are not even thought processes in other vehicles are chores in the sweeper. Well, if I can't do it the fair way, I'm not doing it the fair way. Um, however, I do need to not have, not drive on blocky, dodgy parts. Um, there you go. Close enough to the fair way to do the track. didn't actually take a proper shortcut. It did, however, phase into the snow. <laughs> Yay. I'm now on one solid track again. Is that like a shadow on the snow or something? Hello, Vic. Why was it in reverse? Why? At what point should it have been in reverse there? Let's be real. I hadn't reversed at all. I was just driving. And then I nitrox and it's like, oh, I reverse.
cool. I have found track I can get onto. I'm sorry for lying to you all. It's good that I've got music back. The Sound Realms audio is dead. Which sucks for the one realm supposedly supported by sound. Supposedly these music that you're hearing affects the realm. Why is the sweeper so glitchy today? That is the edge of the realm. Driving off that would not have been recoverable or rolling in this case. Sliding? I don't know. Either way, it wasn't intentional to fall off there. <sighs> this realm's actually been quite difficult. Um, but it could just come down more to a lack of track knowledge than anything else. I don't believe I've ever taken the sweeper on this realm before. Um, and from here on, there's going to be a few realms that I've never taken the sweeper on uh, because I've never gotten past sound before. Because despite how awful it is this update, it was actually worse in a previous update. Yeah, <laughs> getting to that end section, today was the first time I did it. Previously, you couldn't physically make it there. Um, hey, at least it's completable, kind of. Every now and then I petition against a track because it's got problems that need addressing. There's always one. Um, and sand is my current target. I feel like we're going to catch air or something here and that'll be the end of it. Well, at least I'm not failing to predict what's going to go wrong. Hey, at least this is a easy realm. Like, no issues here. Ultimate Race, this is one of the easiest. This is probably the most refreshing realm other than Labyrinth in Ultimate Race. Mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Mm. Mm. Refreshing. I like how refreshing it was to phase into the wall. It's it's going somewhere, it's doing something. It's going to spit me out somewhere really fast. And I don't even care where. Okay. So, the sweeper, as we've now learned, does not like walls. Because it's so glitchy, this update. It is unbelievable how glitchy the sweeper is that it can just glitch into a wall and just become phased into it from a simple collision to the point where I, I don't want to hit a wall because I'm afraid of phasing into it. 
and waiting to phase into the ground with this stupid monstrosity of a vehicle. <laughs> Labyrinth! Oh yeah, I forgot that they've reworked Labyrinth a bit here. So it looks nicer. Labyrinth Ultimate Race is really easy. Follow that exact path, lads. You'll be there. <laughs> if something's going to make me quit, it's the wind realm. Um, as I said, this vehicle is excessively light for absolutely no reason. Um, so either I'm going to be immune to wind for no reason, or I'm going to be excessively vulnerable to it for no reason. Uh, hopefully it has been toned down enough this update that it's not a problem. Um, starting to lean towards that being the case. Um, I have no idea if it was a problem in previous updates. Alright, I definitely felt some pull there. Oh, I'm not confident about the giant one at the end. This grass is very long. Hopefully this allows it to be visible. Not that way. All right, we'll try this again. can't even hear the sweeper from here because it's actually uh, location based sound so when you pull the camera out it, the engine noises go away now it feels like I'm playing with a hot wheels car again oh well rough I shouldn't have driven into that. It's alright, we can just blast through it. That's the giant one, right? Looks it. Looks giant to... Oh, it's not. It was just the one right next to me. Giant one's this way. It's over there. Oh, cool, I phased again. What is wrong with you? Uh, 
I've phased a portion of my vehicle. I've unfazed that portion. For some reason this now seems to have no tornado effects despite the fact that I clearly had them before. Got more trouble. <laughs> the first one was probably the worst. Let's see if we can't slow ourselves down. Momentum wise. All right. We could probably spend a little bit of time just uh, zooming in the camera too. Looks nice being up here above the canyon. I really thought that something I'd done something wrong then. I didn't know the canyon was right here. Uh, the finish should be just down here. And if the game's going to cheat, I'm going to cheat. Got Chrome was a thing. Get ready for another long one, lads. Um, this is gonna suck. If I'm perfectly honest. I hardly got dinged. Our visibility is overrated. Uh, I will admit, having the camera here makes this slightly easier to do. Slightly. It's not it's not great. Vision is still obstructed and it's still very easy to fall. Uh, however, I think the plan here is to do this in reverse. I think the plan here is to drive off the edge because I'm a numbskull. Left is left. See, I've already got my mind set to reverse, so hopefully. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. I'm not a fan of this, really. I might have a smile on my face, but... Lord, am I ill-prepared. Oh. Try 
chugga chugga choo choo oh cut it close to the edge please don't hit this and please just let me get in the middle of these two Get in between them. Get in between them. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Rough. Well, now I've been. Alright. We got this. We can do this. It's dumb. We can do it. Yeah, that's cheating, but fuck it. <laughs> Stay in the groove, <laughs> We're already an hour and four minutes in. No, no, I'm 104 minutes in. I'm an hour and 34 minutes in. Or now an hour and 36 by the time I figured out what I was talking about. It's hard, alright? This has been such a drain on me mentally and physically just to do all this. Um, I put all of my effort and energy into Sound Realm, and I'm glad I did it. But having the constant crackling, awful sound in my ears made it just that much worse to deal with. Although, I will admit, oh, 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 oh. not so much here, but having the camera so far back does make the sweeper a little more tolerable. What am I saying tolerable as if like the vehicle is awful or something? It's a great vehicle to drive. Big fan. It's definitely one of the more enjoyably drivable vehicles in the game. Nice. Did I say enjoyably drivable? <laughs> There's a lot of unbuilt objects. <sighs> Another realm I forgot existed. Oh yeah, engine HP exists too. Let's just grab some more of that because these next ones are all about engine HP. Um, and I expect to lose some. It's is it the middle track or the middle three? It's the middle three, so that's not so bad.
Let's hope these tracks aren't too thin. Jesus Christ, they're going to give it a shot, aren't they? Still no word on what the s shortest one of these is. Which track are we supposed to take? Maybe that should be my next track tutorial. Reactor Realm. Another thing is, it's going to take study. The other ones I just know. Ooh. Did no damage. Thank you, game. <laughs> Maybe once you got 66, it's like, ah, why try? His engine ain't blowing up. Okay. That did damage. And it even shows decimals, so it just goes to show that that wasn't the issue before, that it was in decimals and not showing it. Jeez, that burns through your engine HP fast. I will admit, though, if I didn't have so much, I probably would be a little more careless, a little more careful with it. Um, but having what I feel to be enough to never run out has made me very careless. Lava. All right, so after the frame killing lava realm, we have solar, which may or may not be physically possible depending on the spawn point. Um, unfortunately, because you spawn on a side, the sweeper might struggle for solar. So do be aware that that could be the run ending next realm. I believe after that is sky should be the next realm. Um, we'll see how we go with Sky, and then what's after that? Uh, cosmic, of course. Just had to think of the word. I knew, I knew the visuals. I could see it in my mind. I just couldn't say the name. I'd love to check out the pyramid sometime. Not right now, of course. I uh, probably should have been focusing a little more on the track and a little less on the pyramid. But yeah, at some point I would love to have a look at the pyramid. Um, probably fly over there with some jump jets and the canyon charger, of course. Just drive on it, see what's going on, see if there's an entrance or anything. That'd be cool. That'd be a great place to hide a secret car. And I don't mean the singular secret car for the realm. I mean an extra secret car. Uh, something like Riveted or Roadrunner with the guard. With the big metal lava guard. That'd be cool. So at all times when you're driving it, it's got that up. Which obviously would suck for like physics. Unless it was just, it had no clipping on it. That'd be cool. Oh, I've got to remember that I'm going forwards. And thus I must turn as if I'm going forwards. Dear God. All them ones. I wonder if anyone got a screenshot of 111 and 11 seconds. All right, here we go. Make or break. This is unbelievably the make. Yes. All right. I don't spawn falling from the track. Happy days. 
Now let's see how doable the track is. It seems bigger. Is it bigger? I'll never know. I feel like I'm actually just genuinely losing a lot of speed if I stop Nitroxing. Which is something I find bizarre. <laughs> how bizarre. Oh god. Right. Speed matters a lot here. Um, again, I don't know if this is physically possible as a track. Do I just Nitrox it the whole way? Just to have the downforce? Because this thing has no downforce. I need to just be keeping my speed up. Which is crazy that I have to be nitroxing more than I'm not nitroxing for any track, let alone this track. Uh, fortunately, if there's any track you can get away with nitroxing a lot on, it is this one. Uh, no, I don't believe this would be possible with the regular 1000 nitrox. In fact, I question if 4000 is going to be enough. Hmm. You're in a low gravity environment, monkey. I mean, I'm still in the orbit of the planet, I guess. Maybe I can just orbit the planet a few times and hit the thing. Ah, I've lost orbit. Just a bit rough. That gives me an idea. A dumb idea, but nonetheless, an idea. Alright, first we're going to try this idea. Just going to nitrox as hard as I physically can. And hopefully it's enough to just stick to the track. The only issue is any sort of steering is near impossible at this point. And this is a very unfortunately long track. There it goes. Um, off. Right, there's another option. There is another crazy option. Um, and it's more theoretical than anything else. Visuals are a bitch. Cameras, oop, cameras are a bitch in this game. This has to be, unfortunately, one fluid motion. Oh. 
if it can be done, it can be done like this. So now the gravitational pull of the sun is what's causing me to come off the moment I catch any sort of air. So what I need to do for this to work is to use that as a positive rather than a negative. Uh, I drive on the other side of the track because the gravitational pull is still on the other side of the track. It's just a matter of landing on that side of the track. And landing on this side of the track is actually quite a chore. Hello, where'd the track go? Alright, the other option is to go backwards. And now that sounds counterproductive, and that's because it is. Um, I feel like it's probably going to be easier to get to the start of the track than the end of the track, because theoretically the track should get harder the whole way, yada yada. But it should be a little easier to get on the underside of the track from the start, if at all possible. <coughs> And as we can see, it is seemingly easier. It could be because we're in reverse. And for some reason, this thing is just a vastly superior vehicle in reverse. Uh, obviously, if this fails and I can't get underside the track, I might actually just try and beat the track in reverse. Um, I just, I don't know. I genuinely don't know what the solution is. If we find it, we find it. It's been two hours. That's way longer than I anticipated I'd be doing this for. Oh, that was getting a bit hard to stick to the track then. Well, that's the start. It didn't quite work out for me. All right, let's see if this works because that was easier, but that could have been the track. It could have been being in reverse. You never know. Uh, if this fails, which it's going to because I'm already struggling here, I really need a lot more speed. I gotta try and like jump track sections or something. Which is extremely difficult. Like, I don't know if anyone else gets just how ridiculous that's gonna be to pull off. Especially because I have no idea if I'm gonna go forwards or backwards by doing so. Or, hello. The thing is, I don't know if I'll fall straight up. I suppose in that case I have nitrox to fix my path.
That's the wrong button. Alright, maybe I just need to drive on the surface of the sun. Oh, I need more of these. That's right, these can't change momentum, they can only create momentum. Okay, other alternative is just get to the sun, I guess. This is an interesting problem. Negative, that is not the other alternative. Maybe I should just take it slow. It's a shame because like because of how stupid the canyon realm is, you need the canyon acceler charger to even get this far. Um but obviously getting this far without the canyon you need like the magnetic acceler charger, the pipeline one, to do this track, because you need to stick to the track. Um, and therein lies the problem. Or even the warped one to set save points would have been great for this run. <sighs> Alas, I'm not, I'm just, I don't know if this is entirely doable. Uh, I'm trying this now extremely slow. Driving on the surface of the sun is not physically possible. And there goes another problem. Eventually the car just falls. And there's not a reasoning for it. Now I'm trying to orbit myself around this sun. Which is obviously, despite the fact that it is supposed to be a zero-g environment, orbiting is not a physical possibility. Um, and with this track being physically impossible, which at this point I'm starting to believe it is physically impossible that even with cheating you cannot beat this track in a sweeper, um, that's, that's enough to make me kill my run. It doesn't reverse gravity like it seems to. Like it seem if you're on the track, it'll reverse gravity. But if you're or if you're bouncing off something, it doesn't. All right, we're just gonna try one last time of just going fast, full nitrox. Oops, it's meant to be full nitrox, uh, and see where it takes us. See how far we get. Deja vu. Oh, Tokyo!
the thing is, if I can just see where the portal is in relation to where I is, we might be able to do this. I might be able to just, you know, nitrox myself to it. Might. Even then, that's extremely unlikely. At the moment, I'm just floating above the map. Yeah, I'm straight up just above the map. Oh, here we go. We're coming down. We need to slow that descent. And... Look for the portal. That's possibly it there. Um... Where is it? Because, like, this is probably the first time I've gotten on this side of the damn track. That's it there. Where's that in relation to spawn, though? This way, I guess. Oh. If I'm driving in a certain direction, I expect to be in reverse. This should take me to the thing. To the sun, not away from the sun, but instead it takes me away from the sun. I'll never know why. Um, sure, let's go. Let's try it! Let's do it. I didn't mean to spin around then, that was crazy. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. If I still haven't figured out a idea. Like, if I've got an idea of what I'm supposed to do, I can attempt it and attempt it and attempt it till it works. But I genuinely don't. Thus far, everything has proven to be seemingly impossible. to cut as close to the sun as I can without actually hitting it, which I did. I did a very good close orbit then. Um, I'm only getting further here. Let's go. Maybe up is the way we need to go. I'm pretty sure I found the portal under. This should take me towards the sun or something. I don't know. Jeez, imagine if I could just land on that and go from there. So the track goes a certain way, right? There's arrows on it. So that tells me that track's going to go that way and up. Um, I mean, that's not at all what I wanted. So if it's going that way and up, I need to nitrox up. There's absolutely no correlation between whether or not this way is close to the end than that. <laughs> um, but whatever. 
The fact that I'm just drastically losing speed for no reason is what's causing the biggest problem. I can't just maintain speed, I've got to keep gaining. If the options uh, drastically gain speed or drastically lose speed... I mean, this is an idea too. Where's that other track gone? Is that it? Oh no. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh, tr it's like a quicksand effect, isn't it? Oh yeah, I need these. We'll reset and we'll try that again. Hello, get me to neutral, you piece of shit. Hello, get me to first, get me to first. Nitrox! Alright, we have something. We now know the portal is basically straight that way. Basically. This is what I mean about how different it is to have some sort of a goal. There. That should be it. That's it. That's the portal. Alright. Now I've got to drag myself in. There it is, that's it, that's it, they're right there. Now I gotta start falling again. I need to go more towards the portal. Um, which is a shame because I'm not facing the right way. Alright. What we're going to do is reset. We're going to float around a bit. And we're just going to grab a hundred of these things. Like, quite literally. More than. I'm going to hit this to 10,000. Alright. Now we need to get this as close as we physically can and we need to not have momentum. Alright, there's the base. Alright, we screwed it, we'll try again. As I said, we need to be as close as physically possible to the sun without actually hitting it.
Yeah, we've got too much reverse speed, so we need to go forwards a bit. I'm pretty sure that's the piece of track I need right there. It is. Okay. Now my angle's a little off. Um, and that's a problem, to be sure. But hopefully we can get a bit closer and then we can figure out that problem later. I just gotta get over there. Which is a shame, because like I'm so close. Oh shit. Okay.
the worst part is the tail end needs to be directly facing the sun.
right, that's 100% the end of the track right there. I just need to land on it. Uh, crazy idea. Like, that right there will take you to the end if you can stay on it. He's a good driver. Yeah, for a maniac. Oh my god, it's... Oh. I'm... That was something else. I honestly am amazed that that was doable, even through cheating. Um, oh my god. I'm genuinely shocked that I got away with that. I wonder if that fan has a base. Oh, I never want to do this again. That was so... Difficult purely because the vehicle doesn't want to stay on the track, but fortunately that section the vehicle I did come off at one point I thought it was over. I came off. Uh, I hadn't even realized I was off for quite some time, but it was just yeah, <laughs> I managed to touch down just with the nitrox boost Let's get some slicks for a change we're still running on spikes maybe having slicks would have helped Oh my god. I don't I don't know if they affect the sweeper whatsoever. Um but it might have been better than what I was doing. Um Genuinely feel like there's a shot at finishing this now. I have no idea what's going to happen on Cosmic. Cosmic is probably going to be another um, Solar. <coughs> oh, I see the end. I can see the end! Uh, 
it's been three hours. I generally feel like, ah, an hour and a half, yeah, hour and a half, doable. Welcome to the final realm. The cosmic realm. Alright, if things go wrong and this doesn't work out the way I want it to, I will just leap to the finish. If it's possible, it might actually not be possible. Oh my god. I'm so tired, man. I started this at 11, roughly, something like that. Whatever three hours ago was, yeah. Just before 11, apparently, I started this. Oh, it hasn't been three hours. 180 is three hours. Oh. Like, this has drained me so much that maths is hard. So I've been doing this for more than two and a half hours. Two hours, 45 minutes by the end of it, it's gonna be. Just over. Um. May as well be three hours at that point. But yeah, I started just after it. I thought it was about 10 past 11 when I started. Mine's playing tricks on me. Um, just Christ. I'm just going to be happy to be done. And if, as solid advice, I don't recommend anyone try this. If I was to do this again, yeah, I could absolutely do it a lot faster than three hours. Um, or a lot faster than two and a half hours. Be looking at one and a half to two, just depending on how sound ROM went. Because that's where the time sync is. I feel like now that I understand Solar a lot better, um, I would be able to beat Solar in 10, 15 minutes. Possibly less. I could do it at five if I get lucky. Um, yeah, I feel like I've spent enough time playing with Solar's Gravity and the Charger that I could easily do it. Um, I feel like I've finished all my jumps and I'm just heading to the finish now. Two forty-six at the moment. We're sitting at probably be about a 2.47 by the time we finish. So I didn't quite get reverb. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing 500. I need to start slowing down for this corner. Ah, uh, hello. Uh What happened? Did I win? It's been done. Guys, it's been an absolute journey. Uh, I'm sorry I've been gone for two weeks, but I hope that makes up for it. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching. Like, um, I'll try and do a little more content. I did say quite some time ago, daily content would eventually stop. It has stopped. Um, I'm sorry I took two weeks off. I really hope that this just makes it all better. It asks for confirmation now when leaving Ultimate Race. And that's purely because of the time that I accidentally did it. <laughs> phenomenal. Honestly, phenomenal. That was brilliant. My total respawns is up hundreds. What I will do, I'm not even going to there's nothing to save because I didn't actually accomplish anything. So 736. I respawned over 300 times doing that. Now at one point I did just spam respawn to try and break Solar Realm a bit more, which I guess it worked. Um, but that's crazy. That cost me 300 respawns. Um, obviously I can just reset it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> My cell charges used were pretty nuts too, I'll have to bring up the video and 
see what that was, but I can't do that while recording. So again, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I hope that the final edit of this video doesn't go for two hours, 45 minutes.